Seventh grade TCAP math practice test question number 26. The table below shows that Derek spent uh, how much time Derek spent studying four subjects. Man, I stepped all over my tongue there. Um, apparently, this was made by a math teacher who thinks that Derek should spend more time in math because he spent 45 minutes studying math, 25 minutes studying English, 15 in reading, and 15 in science. Which graph below best represents the data represented in the table? The thing that you need to realize, or one of the things you need to realize, is that they have size relationships. If the number is bigger, obviously, that would mean that the uh, size of the little piece of pie there should be bigger as well. Conveniently enough, by the way, if you add all these up, it gives you 100, so it makes a nice, easy graph for you. So I need to know that reading and science, those parts should be pretty close to the same thing. So if I look at G, for instance, well, reading and science are the same size, and that's right. Uh, English and math doesn't work, so that's out. And they actually gave you the numbers in everything. In this case, in J, math is 50%. Well, no, because science and reading are still 15, so they didn't go up at all. Somehow English went weird, so this is out. Uh, for F, I've got math at 45%, which is about half of 100, or pretty close to. Think of 45 cents to a dollar. That's pretty close to 50 cents, right? And it seems to mark up. Reading and science look the same. And English is making up 25%, or one quarter. So F seems to be the correct answer. H doesn't work because English is at 45%. So they mixed up the numbers. Just make sure you match the labels with the numbers on this question, and you're correct. Make sure, also make sure the sizes seem to fit uh, proportionally, or it looks like they'd be the right answer. So your answer to number 26 is just F.